the baby sleeping. He's really good when Lane's sleeping. Last year, I think around Easter, my uncles were doing their dinner party bingo that they normally do. They collect these gifts when, namely, Uncle John travels around, he gathers these tchotchkes from different conferences and hotels, etc. And then we play a game of bingo and we do kind of like a white elephant thing. It's a whole thing. Anyway, last Easter, not this past Easter, the Easter previous, I won Aquanotes. I haven't touched them since. What the hell, let's try this out. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I've had some of my best ideas in the shower, but by the time I've gotten out, dried off, put some clothes on, grabbed a notebook, those ideas have oftentimes escaped me. But with Aquanotes, I'm not doing an advertisement for them. Okay, really cool product. I was very skeptical. I thought that either the pencil wouldn't write, or the paper would just turn to mush, or it would be really sloppy, like, kind of you'd have to press really hard everything worked surprisingly great that's a really cool product now let's see how well that pa that paper and pencil last over time but first use kind of a cool product it even has an eraser amazing i am a fervent collector of notebooks i have every kind you can think of. I write notes down on everything. I used to keep a reporter's little spiral notebook in my back pocket at all times. Then I upgraded to moleskins and I, I love notebooks. I love note keeping, I love documenting my day to day, obviously. Why not have paper everywhere, including in the shower? Would I buy Aquanotes I, if it only costs five dollars? Yeah, probably. If it costs more than, I don't know. I haven't looked it up, I'm sure it's on Amazon or the Aquanotes website. Maybe I'll look it up later. Regardless, would I pay a lot of money for that? Absolutely not. Would I buy Aquanotes if it was very affordable? Yeah, probably. It's kind of awesome. All right. Um, I got a workout in. I'm going to get some coffee. I'm going to dive into this next edit. And before I know it, Angie and Wyatt are going to be home. I have a lot more cleaning to do before they get back. But a day of work is ahead. Here we go. Today has been a pretty productive day. I finished cleaning the living room. I cleaned all the floors. I cleaned off my desk. I cleaned the bathroom. I did laundry. I edited my videos. And I made Angie this welcome home gift. I also cleaned up my side of the bedroom and ran a couple of errands. Like I said on Friday, I've just been killing time until Angie and Wyatt get back. I miss them like crazy. They're sh supposed to be back around 10.30 or 11 tonight. So I'm just going to edit until they get back.
that's just about going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Good night.